Bye from the internet, this is the Crystal Chronicles, the only official and official Final Fantasy Record Keeper podcast. This is episode number 38, recorded on November 9th, 2016. My name is Pierre and I am joined, as usual, by my good friends Ben and Mark. Hey guys, how are we doing tonight? I'm doing better. <laughs> I'm sober. Hooray! Uh, nice. <laughs> Is that a first for the podcast? Yeah, generally. Oh, so nice. things are pretty colorful, colorful, and happy and unicornsy in Canada. How are things in uh, your part of the world? Mm. No, no different, really. You know. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, um, I, I'd like to start the show off with a public service announcement for our international listeners uh with, for us which would be pierre as well so um friends all of you listening from outside this is mark from the united states you may not have realized um don't know you know what kind of news you listen to or, or the twitter you catch up on maybe you've been just grinding your uh, realm dungeon so you haven't paid attention but um here in the united states we started a new reality show slash social experiment oh yeah tell us how the season um, finale went yeah well no, it's 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 not technically started we just had some some pre-show work um you know like making of stuff uh and, and so it's going to start in a little bit um but i wanted everybody to be on the same page um you know, we, we got it slated for four years. Now, it can be renewed after that. But, but for right now, we got it for four years. Um, if you're worried about what channel it's going to be on, it's going to be everywhere. You know, so um, like any of your local TV stations or radio or the Twitter or the interweb or any pretty much anywhere that you go or look or be, it, it's going to be, you know, everywhere. You know, so this is a, this is a big deal, right? It's going to be all over the place. Before you ask, yes, there's going to be winners and losers, and some of you might be more losers than others. It's all up, we don't know. Um, so just you know, sit back and um, you know, kiss your loved ones good night, and uh, you know, enjoy the ride. You know, woohoo! It's going to be fun. So uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. So All right. moving on. So uh, hopefully, yeah. Well, one, one last thing. Okay. You were talking about news and everything. Hopefully, now that uh, it's done and over with, uh, we won't be hearing about any U.S. political crap for at oh. least three years and a half. That's all I ask. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That's that's that. the only thing I ask. I mean, we've got probably got people being murdered all over Canada, and it never makes the news. So uh, please just give us back our freaking news shows yeah, and luck. newspaper and all that that that's really all we're asking all right good luck okay that. um so uh with all this finally been uh taken care of i do apologize uh we're starting late once again it's my fault uh mm -hmm. to tell a little story my kids got their school pictures back today and oh, they oh wow and what? you know what uh oh, last that. year we actually did not print them like we kept pushing it and pushing it and so in the frames we've got in the entrance we still got the pictures from two years ago so I figured tonight I had some time before the um, uh, the podcast so I went to Walmart to print them and nice. wouldn't you know when you print 8 by 10 like it's not automatic and I couldn't find any stupid clerk to print them so I had to go behind the counter print them myself and then chase like uh, a manager to be able to pay for the stupid thing. Nice. So that's why I'm late. Walmart sucks. <laughs> there I've said it. <laughs> it's international, folks. Hey. Never forget it. <sighs> and, uh, You're so, welcome. There goes my frustration. All right. So uh, last I heard, this is not a general news podcast, and we're ar already losing Twitchies. So I, let's move I on. This was a sports podcast. <laughs> What yeah, I, I thought this was Spanish class. So, hola, and that's all I know. So, moving on uh, for some record keeper announcements. Uh, oh, that's right. I still haven't 
done like any intro songs for these segments. I gotta work on that. <laughs> yeah, we'll compose them ourselves. <laughs> That's what I just let did. Let me get out my re- let me get out my recorder. No, please no. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. <laughs> all right. So Halloween gifts. Um, we finally, well, for those who hadn't received them, we finally received our pumpkin hats and especially Woo-hoo! twenty-five mithrils. Yes. The biggest 25 mithril of my life. Holy have, have moly. You, have you reforged your pumpkin? No, I don't care about that. But did, you obviously saw the big tweet where I got it, right? Where you got what? I got Apocalypse. Are, uh, without spending any money, I was... I knew it was... I, <laughs> that was Monday, and I said to myself, this is going to be a good week. Mm. How'd that work out? Well, it's it's Wednesday. It's, uh, it's not over yet. All my classes were canceled. Woohoo! Uh, but yeah, I got Apocalypse, and um, I also got uh, the uh, Force Knuckle. So we'll be going to those later, but just know that I'm very happy in the... Congratulations, In the, in the FFRK department, especially when we talk about the event. So, uh, thank you, D- DNA. I, I almost slipped up, but I got it. You got thank it. You, DNA, Good catch. Good catch. For, <laughs> for giving us our well-earned mithril and uh, glorified Rosetta Stones. <laughs> and and um, additional mithril, right? Nope. Oh, yes, for the fun mini game, which I played once, then said, Me too. I I gotta put this down. If I, I I knew instantly that like if I got fixated on getting a high score, I'd be at that thing for two hours. So good job, DNA, for making a fun mini game. What? When's DNA just gonna like um pub- like produce their own like console game? That's what I wanna know. They've clearly mm. got the skills. Well, They've they got- just fired like half of their <laughs> Well, those people... So what you're saying is it's looking good. Could happen. Yes. Oh, yeah, but it'll only be released in Japan, so... Okay. Yeah, so we got 15 more Mithril and 15 Major Growth Eggs and 300,000 Gil and 6 Total Dark Matter. Uh, let me see. 3, 3 Star, 2, 4 Star, and 1, 5 Star. So both your pumpkin and your hat... Reforged. Bam. Nice. Final Fantasy 13 for the win. A lot of people uh, did tweet me that they had decided to go all the way on these two items. But yeah, I, people were pretty proud about that. It's like, are you sure you should be using that many resources on some really oh, yeah. bad stat items? Oh, yeah. Well, if you don't have any good thrown item or if you don't have any Final Fantasy 13 synergy it might be a good thing. I'm not sure if I have combined the pumpkin yet. I did the hat. I like the hat. All right, that's the right. statement we'll remember. Nice. Um this is did, Wednesday. Wednesday means a uh, couple things, but among them, it means that there's uh, a switch in the Fat Chuckabo's shop. Uh, this week's items, the major orbs, of course, are white, holy, and hurt. So, if you've got... Uh, earth. Uh, huh? Not hurt. What was that? Hurt. hurt. Major hurt orb. Hurt. It major hurts. Hurt. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you heard it here, here folks. Are you making fun of my accent? Is that what you're no, doing? No, no, I'm sorry. Because I I'm gonna go like all French Quebecois accent on you and not like try don't, at all don't to. Don't make uh, me get my friend who goes to McGill. I'll get him and I'll sick him on you. <laughs> uh, so speaking of you hear heard it here first, folks. We've got a special uh, announcement of an announcement Boop, of an announcement. Yeah, we're yes. announcing an announcement. So, um, we have an upcoming in-app announcement that'll be happening tomorrow, saying that the multiplayer open beta test begins on November 21st. So, be ready for it. Assemble your team of champions. I have to deal with these two buffoons who... 
<laughs> who I'm sure have no other friends and I'm have to play come play Waka no, and man. Mog. Reported. Mog in the front row. And I'm going with a team of Final point. Fantasy 2, probably level 1. Yeah, I can't yeah. wait to be able to report people for BMing. <laughs> for BMing multiplayer. It's going to be great. So uh, you have that to look forward to. Uh, start looking now for some teammates. Hey, I know a great place to go to uh, find some people who love Final Fantasy record people and would love to team up with anybody. Do you is guys it a, know? Is it a place where everyone knows your name? Uh, no, but <laughs> not your real name. But it is the Final Fantasy Record Keepers Slack chat oh. that you could all check out and become a part of. We've got new people coming in every day. Uh, it's Perhaps really... we will start a multiplayer channel. Well, there's uh, already, it... like in the Japanese channel, they're already multiplayer like crazy. I know, but there, there's only like four or five people in the Japanese channel. So if there's a hundred in the global channel, yeah, uh, we might true. want to separate multiplayer out from everybody else. Yes, so, yeah. determines. So yeah, the Slack chat is a great place to go to uh, talk with people in real time. Uh, talk to people about the game, other mobile games. Talk about how nobody's caught up with the One Piece chapters. Jeez. Although I guess you can make you can do private messages and private groups too, can't you? So uh, yeah, you can see who's up for multiplayer and start from there. But not till the twenty first. Not till the twenty first, and that's only the beta. beta. Who knows what'll happen after that? No, but yeah, I look forward to that in two weeks. Yep. Ah, the times. It's a coming. It's a passing. Oh, it's a going no fast. Good. Mm -hmm. So, um, how's the Golden Arena has been treating you guys? It's pretty cool. easy. You know. What? It's it's done. <laughs> Did we get, like, stuff for it? I didn't even look to see, like, what What do you mean? Was. It's not done yet. There's still no, two no, more I fights mean, left. The, right. The, the three fights that we have, I have beat. You mean yeah. he owned oh. it? I owned it. You owned I used it, yeah. my little people. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> It's so funny. So let's talk about uh, the bad boy brawl, which is, it's something. It's really easy. If you bring Titus's... This is where, this is where you play bad boy, Pierre, for the intro. No, don't bad do that. Boys, bad get, boy. We get oh, yeah. I, I oh, wasn't ready, so I was going to sing it, but you beat me to it. Can't, can't we do like 30 seconds? Uh, anyway, yes, bad boy brawl. <laughs> That's a good point. Uh, it's really easy if you bring Titus's Burst Soul Break, which deals AoE water damage, and then gives you a burst command to do more AoE water damage. I believe okay. using it, even on the highest difficulty, totally wipes out the first three guys. Uh, wow. Gijuk, uh, Bwalgi, and Renok. I'm sorry if uh, we have any bangas listening in the audience who are offended by that pronunciation. Yeah, but so you can you can roaming warrior that if you don't have it as a native. Oh ability, yeah, the A ball just, star. Yeah, yeah. Just add me. Yeah. Actually, add Ben. He has this. that as his. Roaming no, I think warrior. I actually have energy rain as my roaming warrior now. Or if you don't want to do that, you can use your new four star ability that we'll be talking about in a little bit. Oh yeah. And five star ability. So but yeah, this was not very okay. difficult. Or if you have a. Well honed Leviathan can use yep. that too. <laughs> so, but yeah, probably the easiest way is to bring Titus's roaming warrior BSB. Yeah, want to roll like that. Mm -hmm. uh, and that brings us to size matters not. Oh, you got the short stacks. Who'd you guys bring? More yellow I, oats. I haven't done, I haven't done it yet. What? I brought. I will tell you who am whom I brought. I brought Ico as my healer. I brought Mog as my dancer, and I brought three black mages. We black mages. One was named Vivi because Vivi is boss. One was named Hope, because screw you, Hope. And then I brought Adult <laughs> Rhea, just to kind of 
I don't care about your rules game. I'm going to bring adult Rydia. She ain't no shorty. That's what I'm talking about. And so what I did... Oh, boy. Is on my three black mages, I had Chain Blizzaga, I had Chain Firaga, and I had Chain Stonaga. And then I used those abilities, and I made the bosses dead. Would you say that uh, the synergy is even really necessary? I mean, there are only 12 heroes to pick from, so that doesn't give you a lot to work I with. I like to play with the rules, Ben. Makes it more oh. of a challenge. Well, <clears throat> no, I, I don't think that's kind of a piece is necessary at all. Yeah. Uh, but you do need to be careful, I mean, because you could just go in and AoE spam, but you have to make sure that you're killing them all... Oh, uh, yeah, my hope died. Thank you, Marley Frost. Um, I did post that hope face floor on the ground. I don't even know how he died. He just, he was dead. Thankfully, Vivi picked up his slack, made the, the winning possible. <clears throat> um, Vivi, Vivi double poisoned somebody. It was great. Anyway, uh, no, I mean, you probably don't need synergy. Uh, you can use AoE magic, especially, or AoE physical attacks. You just have to make sure that you're killing them all at the same time. Um, so it was really easy using the magic. You know, I had one fire, one ice, and one stone, and I had the four-star and five-star abilities. So, I mean, it was it was really easy just to kind of take it one person at a time uh, and, and, you know, not have to worry about it. And I had Mog as my dancer, and I had uh, Iko as my healer, so I wasn't really taking much damage. All right, good stuff. Uh, so what about the banners? Oh, wait, that's my job. <laughs> banners. We, we lost one tonight. We had both of them this morning, but we lost one. So currently oh, we only so. have size matters not. Oh, okay. Well, if it would load. Well, we would all see. the banners were like extended up to the ninth. So I figure a whole bunch of them like just went away yeah, uh, about did. half an hour ago. Oh, yeah. They oh, did. yeah. They're... No, it's still crazy the amount of banners we have, especially from the choice Soul Breaks ones. Uh, so let's look at the size matters not banner. We have Vivi's burst soul break. We have Hope's burst soul break. We have Rydia's super soul break, the Mist uh, Odin, which is very high chance to KO. Though since bosses are immune to KO, that effect is pretty much ignored. Uh, we have Kurilu's sheep song, which I have, which yeah, I have not used song. once. Oh, sheep song's great. Yeah, I never really used a mage team. Mm. Yo, but then we then we have this one, the shiny thing. Also great. Yeah, and we have Flames of Rebirth, which I have, That's and cool. we have brush up your Shakespeare uh, on the luminous robe. <laughs> mm. If anybody could tell me what that's a reference to, holy moly, you you win. Tonight's quiz. All right. Shakespeare no, references in relic no, it's draws. Not a, it's not strictly a Shakespeare reference. That's that's what that's my one hint. But uh, moving on, it's uh it's a pretty good banner. It definitely focuses on the mages, with the only odd one out being Gao, because Gao is a very odd one out. What what is happening? What? Ah, uh, we're caught in a storm, folks. <laughs> <laughs> the, the hail here, Jim, is terrible. <laughs> the chop copter in the sky. Uh, what's it looking like? FF, FFRK uh, Skycopter is in the middle of Hurricane. What? Pierre, what's going on? Pierre, mute your mic. Are you in the bathroom? No, I am not. But uh, just so you know, nobody in the stream could hear that. Only you two. <laughs> what? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a good joke! That uh, uh, my uh, recording office, aka called the storage department of the house, is right under the, the house bathroom. So I heard someone go there, and before and they so could flush, I muted office. my part of the stream. Obviously, Skype was not muted, but uh, great. So you just make us out to be crazy people on the stream. Well, kind of like what? I was playing uh, the bad boy team, but you guys couldn't hear it, but that's something else. Somebody heard it. No, <laughs> maybe you heard me clapping. 
That's what that was me imitating the the chop the the chop copter in the sky. But I'll, I'll mute everything from now on. I I sincerely apologize. <laughs> it's totally fine, dude. This is what makes this podcast great. You never know what's gonna happen. Yeah, people might be going to the bathroom. Uh, this no. is our story, and it's oh, creepy as hell. The greatest <laughs> segue Transition. of all time. Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay. So moving on to our Final Fantasy X event, this is our story. Nice. We uh, didn't get a lot of new stuff with this. Like you didn't get really anything except a. Second dress sphere because Yuna likes to wear different clothes. Yeah, Yuna is the first enough. character to get and more than one record sphere. Yeah, not it is the sphere. Wardrobe spheres. Which we wardrobe. wardrobe. Excuse me. Yeah, not dress dress sphere. Um, the wardrobe sphere, which is a dress for Yuna, the wedding dress that she wore for the wedding that she really didn't want to have, and where she jumped <laughs> off a building and then was saved. Nice. <laughs> Some spoilers. Spoiler, she didn't die. <laughs> Just say that when we're talking about any game. But <laughs> nice. Apple-y. We did get something new, and that new thing is shooter abilities. Oh my god. A new category yeah. of abilities with that we previewed last week and told you who has them. And we get a free four star and a free three free free five star ability to go along with it. Excuse my <laughs> Wordage. Shooter abilities do more damage when you have a ranged weapon equipped, unlike one of the battles that I shared, where I had my shooter abilities on Titus, but I equipped him with a sword and put him in the front row. That is not how you what? do more damage with a shooter ability. You just lectured me about playing by the rules. <laughs> it would be best to put him in the back row with a bleats ball, and then uh, you could use Hydro Burst. That is a reference. <clears throat> bleats ball. Hydro Burst, 4-star, AoE water damage, and then Sapphire Shot, 5-star, double attack water damage. I used them, I believe, for the Bad Boy Brawl, and I used them for every ultimate in this really? uh, battle, because I think they're amazing. I think they're irrelevant. Mm. Uh, well, yeah, they're a bit too... Got fancy, I don't got fancy Titus relics. Well, no, Burn. I just think sharpshooter abilities, as they stand now... Are two kind of not, I guess, niche you would call them, but also situational because you have to have uh, the enemy be weak to a certain element, and you also have to have a party setup in which a character that uses sharpshooter abilities is in the back row. I mean, there are so many uh, characters with sharpshooter abilities, the capabilities to use them, that are just you know you always position them in the front row with a melee weapon, such as Titus. Uh, Jacked. I saw that um, Shadow has them. It's Shadow from Six. It's just, I feel that they just aren't up to par with some of the other kind of job based abilities, such as Knight or Mechanist. I mean, even Mechanist. Um, Sure, it has ailments, which bosses are rarely weak to, but they just it just they just deal good damage otherwise. So well, you can break your free abilities and send them back to DNA Games with a big F U. But I don't think that's uh, how the break abilities <laughs> works, Mark. I don't think yeah, they they, get... <laughs> it, they immediately get a ticket that says this is what I think of your new abilities. <laughs> Big it just prints out a little picture of the ability in, in HQ. They're like, dang, somebody sent it back. They didn't want it. Yes, think of thank you. Has Murga on the Twitch chat. Think of the next time or the next 17 times we have to fight Unileska. Totally. Bring in my Hydro Burst and my Sapphire Shot. Anyway, I enjoyed using them. You don't have to use them if you don't want, but... I like to have a diverse number of abilities at my disposal. So I have both of those abilities ready to go if needed. There you go. And that's pretty much all we got in this event in terms of new stuff. So we can talk about our ultimate battles. And a little bird told me 
that Benjamin beat all of these ultimate battles. When he, oh, by Little Bird, do you mean Twitter? Yeah, Twitter. Yeah, okay, so that's little, pretty clever. Think about that bird. on your own. Mm-hmm. And that's mm-hmm. good. So yeah, uh, I beat all these. I. It helps that they're all weak to water, and I drew Apocalypse, and I have Machinations for Riku. It's not... It doesn't take too much to put two and two together and say, Ha, huh, these bosses I can do a lot of damage to in a very short amount of time. So that's that. And if you don't have those things, you can use your new shooter abilities! <laughs> yeah. Which is what I did, and I enjoyed it verily. Oh, just remember on our first ultimate, you have to do the marathon of Guardians, Seymour, Anima, Seymour. And remember, if you're having trouble with this, you may use a Reflect, or you may use Carbuncle to cast Reflect on your entire party, and Seymour and the Guardians cannot really do anything to you. Now, Anima can still Gravity and do other attacks, but... If you bring Reflect and a Medica, you should be okay. Even if it's not a Realm-specific Medica, uh, you will be okay. It's not as difficult as we've had it in the past. Um, the uh, other guy, Geo's Ganyo, Geo's Gano, what? Geo's Gano, the Need Ultimate help? Plus. Uh, I have in the notes. I have that uh, Zan. Z- <laughs> Xanarkin Landian. Xanarlandian. Xanarlandian is what I have. Xanarkinian, I guess. That's not, that's not the name of the language. Yeah. It's it's all bad. Well, El, did they speak Albed? They don't speak Albed in Xanarkin, do they? I mean, anyway. I don't anyway. know. That's just a, like the other language in the world of Final Fantasy X, which would have been a much better joke for the outline that only uh, would have been. two other people been. see. It would have been. <laughs> Yeah, and in Final Please. Fantasy X-2, you have to do the whole Elbed language quest. So, yes! Oh, that's, that's in ten. That's in the first ten, too. Oh, you, there's a that's language really, quest? That's a really confusing sentence. Holy moly. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, he is weak to everything. Fire, ice, lightning, water, and holy. But don't use lightning attacks, because this is a reading test. Make sure <laughs> you awesome. read what Dr. Mahog... Well, I don't know. Why is he weak to lightning? And then, like, don't use lightning. But when he's weak to, to four other elements, lightning. it makes like, no what? sense. <laughs> why, why, why make him it's weak like, to lightning? If you're, if you're at the ultimate plus, I doubt you're pressed for abilities in other elements. You're like, oh no. <laughs> yeah, I've right. only... Like, the, oh, crap. I've only especially when, if you get to that point, you already have a four-star water ability and a five-star water ability. I, 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 uh, I'm going to ask somebody on... Um, on Twitch to go and do this Sid mission and post it on Slack just with lightning. Just use lightning abilities. Just say, Oh, the character I thought you meant. Oh, no, no. Use all lightning abilities. Yeah, not just... You can use lightning if you want, but she's not yeah. a Sid mission character. But, but you don't need to use lightning. You can bring Titus and Sapphire Shot, or of course, if you have any of his special abilities. Pain, remember, is a five-star knight, so she has uh, your Saint's Cross. You can use Lulu and Yuna oh, yeah. for elemental damage. Uh, I mean, I, I think this is a doable Sid mission for a lot of different people. I don't have... I have a few, obviously, uh, Final Fantasy X relics now, but I don't have a lot of good Final Fantasy X relics. So Pain was using Saint's Cross. Titus was using Sapphire Shot. And... That was the majority of my DPS, so... Whoa, dude, six, DPS, six special ability with Titus there, with yeah. the spiral cut. Really pulling out all the stops. <laughs> <laughs> and that brings us to Omega Weapon, who is also weak to water attacks. Oh, yeah. And uh, only has magic attacks. Okay. Yeah, so, pretty much. Uh, I brought magic. way too much... I brought way too much physical mitigation, uh, especially with Riku. I, I pretty much like steel power for me is like my most underrated ability. Yeah, steel uh, power is good. Steel power is really good, especially. I mean, it does this. <laughs> it does what's in the name, but it's it like it really helps. But 
not when the boss uses only magic attacks. In which case, that's when you bring magic breakdown on Tyro. And the only thing that deals substantial damage is gravity, which sucks. So you'll see on the on the picture that I posted to Twitter, I was able to clear this event, uh, this battle, but Titus was the only one left standing. <laughs> and it was not good. Like, I was... <laughs> like, towards the last sliver of health, at this point I'd gone off two energy rains that hit for pretty near max damage. But... It's just like, oh, I'm going to use Gravity and Nova, or whatever its ability is, and that just killed everybody. Yeah, you have to be careful. Uh, again, this we talked about this last week with the Ultimate++. Plus Plus. Uh, this guy's got a lot of health, over 350,000 health. Wait, seriously? He had that much? I, I'm pretty sure he has... Dang, I'm really good at this game. <laughs> um, a lot. Well, I can proudly... Uh... You put oh, this, this emote in the chat saying that I beat all three ultimates on my first try. <clears throat> so, ultimate plus 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 plus. Uh, Omega yeah. weapon has 358,265 HP. Yo, that would be as opposed to Geo Scenario. Who has two hundred thousand seventy seven nine hundred and fifty two? And if you want a comparison, Phase Three Seymour had ninety nine thousand eight hundred and twenty. Oh so. yeah, did we did we talk about uh, the Seymour fight? Yeah, just briefly. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of like how it's kind of like three and a half phases. First, you fight as goons that die really easily to Abe Solstar. And then you fight Seymour for about one turn. Then he's like, oh, crap, Anima, come out of here. And Anima's like, raw. Then you kill Anima. Raw. That's like Seymour. That's Seymour. And then you just use Carbuncle. It's like Ruby Light. And then you just beat Seymour super easily. That was like the yes. most... It was super yeah. easy. And uh, Rad Fool is reminding us that you can use, if you're having trouble with gravity attacks, you can use resist instant KO gear, and you can search for that, of course. Um, I'm looking to see if I did that on my team. I did not. Uh, this time around, I, I usually do when I know there's a big... Oh, I did, I did it on Titus. Titus had a resist major KO, uh, major resistance to KO. Oh, I forgot to do that. So Probably would have uh, helped. But yeah, that that does uh, that does certainly help. So, thank yeah. you for reminding us, Twitchies. Thanks, Twitchers. You the real MVP. <laughs> real winners tonight. Twitch. Well, no, since nobody's called out that reference. But uh, so now that Banners? we've uh, yeah, now that we've totally wiped all those ultimates. Washed them away in the tide, you could say. <laughs> oh. We can move on to the relics, which definitely played a part in me uh, clearing this event. So let's move to that big, shiny six-star banner, or a banner in which a six-star is featured, which is Titus's Apocalypse. Make it rain. Energy rain, which, despite its animation is a single target water attack that can break the damage limit. And Apocalypse itself gives an innate boost to water, which helps out a lot when you pair it with Kina's Golden Hairpin, which gives a small boost to water. I didn't do that. I kept... I, uh, I did that on my shooter ability, Titus. Oh, well, used the Golden Hairpin. I mean, I kept the Seeker's Shield on Titus just for the oh, added nice. defense. But, uh... Yeah, Apocalypse is really good. It's the same. It's like a direct parallel to finishing touch with, with Ragnarok, in that overstrikes are good. Uh, whether you want to choose a burst really depends on the versatility of the burst commands. In the case of both Cloud and Titus, it is pretty much uh, more optimal to be using uh, the overstrike. 
because the DPS that you would get from four single target attacks over time just might not be able to clear the boss fast enough as opposed to single big hits. And that's my philosophy on overstrikes at the moment. We'll see where they go. But as of now, it depends whether they're better than their characters. First soul break depends strictly on the burst commands, not on the activation effect. Unless in the case of Titus, if you're fighting groups of enemies weak to water. Anyway, moving on, we have Waka's Assault Reels. These are, this is it, his burst soul break. And it's pretty good. Deals 12 ranged physical, physical attacks to random targets. So if you're fighting one enemy, that's 12 attacks on one target, which is pretty good. And uh, gives them a nice full break effect. And let's look at his burst commands. There's Wither Tackle, which deals ranged physical damage and lowers its magic. And Pile Wither, which does the same, except it lowers its attack. The enemy's attack, not Waka's. So yeah, Waka stays true to his nature of being And that's a what I pulled last week, two of those. Oh, you did? Nice. On my 50 pull. So, because I cannot pull on its Final Fantasy X banner without getting something for Waka. Or only getting things for Waka. Because my love for Waka knows no end. So I Great. have all well, of his relics. I'm glad to know who you're going to put on your, in your, on your back row. For when mm -hmm. multiplayer comes around, people are going to be like, oh, geez, this guy's using Waka. What a scrub. <laughs> he probably only has element reels. Then you could blow him away with all these amazing. For this is soul break. Over soul break, man. <laughs> with Waka's over soul break that he has yeah. right now. Yeah, it's not even out. Yeah. But I got it for Waka. Well, you got it? My, my reforged blitz ball. Oh, okay. I do have one of those. So now we have an interesting, uh, an interesting soul break for Yuna, which is Miracle Veil, vale, which restores a large amount of HP to all allies and automatically heal an additional damage taken for a short, uh, short time, up to 2,000 HP in total. So this is a kind of new mechanic in terms of healing that we've been introduced to, in that it kind of increases. Uh, you could think of it as increasing your party's maximum HP, all of it by 2,000. It's for everybody, right? That the 2,000 health pool is attributed to? Yes. Yeah, so that's an extra 10,000 <laughs> HP for your party. So that can definitely make a difference if you're being nailed by uh, AoE attacks. It's kind of comparable to a dream stage in that the damage that you would have evaded is probably less than 10,000 total. I don't know if you're if you got trapped and you need to, need to buff up then it'll probably equate to around 10,000. But aside from that, I think it's I think it's definitely strictly better than dream stage and magic blink type abilities. Uh it I mean, it's really good. So it's it's really good. If you need healing now and need it later, this is what you use. Yeah, it'd be interesting to compare um, the I forget what we what we call this. What the uh, what the in game not the in game, but what uh, what they generally refer to this ability as. Oh, where you get the, the HP buff. I don't know what the little hot link the lingo, lingo is. is. Anyway, uh, it'd be interesting to compare whether that is better, and it might just be situationally, but whether if that is better than like uh, a BSB that has a Medica. Stock HP, thank you, uh, Perezma. Pesmerga, there we go. <clears throat> um, yeah, stock HP. So is the stock HP better than... You know, a like a Ico or Aerith BSB, where then you get free medicas, you know, for two or three turns. Or back. is, so. however, is it strictly better? How does it compare to re raise? Because re raise uh, revives you with a portion of your health around equal to half, which in most situations is more than two thousand. Except yeah, if I'm do, not mistaken, I've... re raise will take away your buffs. Yeah, you, don't, you don't have your buffs or anything. So I think people. 
you know, people are generally using haste and maybe a resistance up or a defense up or shelga, protectga, something else. So I think people would generally like to avoid dying if they can. But <laughs> although there are probably situations where, you know, having your entire party die and then re raise might potentially be useful. I'm not 100% unsure. One, one uh, question, yeah. though, with stuck HP, when your, um, your life goes under, do you die or will the stuck HP heals you before you die? So the, the damage that you take comes out of that 2,000. Okay. Yeah. So that that's like, regardless of what your HP is, you basically then get a stock pool of 2,000 HP that is a taken up first. Okay. And then right. it goes back to your regular. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> that makes sense. Which is pretty good. Yeah. So, it's excellent. Yeah. Yeah. So that's good. Yeah. Now moving on, we have Riku's Force Knuckle, which gives her Master Thief. And I got this one. It's I haven't actually used it since I've been so busy with machinations. Uh, so it's six physical attacks to one target, temporarily lower its attack and resistance a large amount, and raise the user's attack moderate amount and resistance a small amount. Uh, pretty good general buff and debuff. Pretty uh, wacky combination with attack and resistance. But, yeah. It's... Pretty good, obviously. Uh, if you're going for a strict DPS, go for machinations. I mean, it's not on this banner. But Wait, you have it. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, Pierce Mirga on Twitch is saying that with stuck HP, it, I, I'm confused. W would you die or not die if, let's say, I have 500 HP left and I got hit for 1,500? Yeah, do I die I or I'm do thinking, I not die? I, I'm I'm thinking this is a different ability I think that we don't have yet. Mm. Um, so this automatically heals additional damage taken. So you take mm. the damage and then you heal? Well, yeah, that, that's what I was thinking. So re-raise might actually be more useful if you're on like on the brink of that compared to stuck HP where it might like not help a lot. Mm. <laughs> Looks like we're going to have to do some research. Uh, is this one of those instances where we say we'll get back to you but never do? Yeah, I think I think that's where we'll uh, store it. Sorry, folks, but uh, obviously none of us have this. Yeah. So, yeah. So so you would die. You die. Ability. Uh, you would die. Happen. Right. In the chance that you do die, because let's be, right. yeah, let's but... be realistic here. This is a major medica. And yeah, I'm, I'm, thinking, I'm, thinking, HP. I'm thinking of Guts. That's the one I was thinking of. This is not Guts. <clears throat> um, that's, that's coming up. Uh, okay. So yeah, this is, this is you heal damage that you take. So, But it heals you first. So assuming you're at full health after you get a large Medica, large healing Medica, uh, then you will take damage and then heal that damage back. So. All okay. right. Question is, if you go down to zero hit points, will you then heal or will you die? And so I, I don't know the answer to that because I don't have this, but there's some conversation happening on Twitch. Oh, that if you're uh, watching on Twitter or uh, listening, you can check out that and see uh, where we come out <laughs> as the Twitch uh, Twitch people. Um, so, But it seems to be the, the majority of people are saying you would die <clears throat> if you go down to zero HP. So, all right. If someone has that, test it out for us and let us know. Let's move on to the final new relic in this banner. There were a total of five new relics. That's so a lot of relics. On this banner alone. Uh, so it is Titus's Strike, which is the name of his outfit, apparently. And <laughs> we can concede this time that Titus is indeed wearing shorts, it's not a skirt. <laughs> no more. We don't have to have an argument like Ash's defiance on the nature of Titus's clothing. Okay. Titus's strike gives him leap and rush, which deals three physical attacks to one target and removes delay from the user's actions for two turns. So twice. It's uh, 
So the big wombo combo is you stock up all three, uh, all three gauges, all, all three bars of the soul gauge, and then you use leap and rush, and then you use Abe's all star, and then you use energy rain. So that's the big wombo combo that you are able to deal all that damage in such a short amount of time, but. Realistically, that's not going to happen, and it'd be more effective to just use three energy reins. But yeah, it's cool. I like how they feature... They're featuring the kind of costume relics. We had Cloud's guys and the, uh... Like the, uh... You know, Lightning's soldier uniform and Squall's jacket. And now we have Titus's uniform i guess <laughs> so that's pretty cool uh one the other relic that i didn't mention on this banner the two old relics are sword of pain for pain <laughs> and Orin's banishing blade overall this is a pretty good banner it has an overstrike it has uh one of the best medicas in the game. It has a really good mix of debuffing and kind of support. Definitely pull on this banner right now if you're done uh, cashing in on all the half price banners that we've got going on. All right. All right. I've... <laughs> Feel it. Like, feel like I'm talking into a vacuum here, guys. No, nope, no. Nope. Oh, yeah, because we're we're not listening to you. Go go ahead. What were you saying? <laughs> this is a really good banner, is what I meant. What? Do I, why do I come fun. back every week? <laughs> this is an excellent banner. I love it. Okay. Very you know, good. If you like, uh, it, it's weeks like this that I feel bad that I said I wouldn't pull until the General Leo event. Yeah. But uh, banner two, not so good. Well, I mean, not it's not not so new stuff, right? We've had, we've uh, had all that stuff. Not all of it. I mean, Orin's burst soul break is new. Is it? I thought we had Orin's burst soul break. Uh, is it? Did we? No. Anyway, I mean, look, it's Orin's I'm burst able, soul break. I'm able to look because if you go to announcements and then go to the new relics added, nope, Hunter's blade is new, and so is the Woo! so are the Warriors gloves. So. We can Excellent. go over Orin's Burst Soul Break Bushido, which yeah. I'm very upset that the commands are not, um, what are they? Um, cage two. They are Guardians Resolve and Decisive Instant. No, no, I'm, I wish they were, uh, Orin. I wish they were uh, Shooting Star and Banishing Blade as a reference to the Kingdom Hearts 2 mm. limit between Sora and Orin. But unfortunately, Banishing Blade is already a Super Soul yes. Break. Okay. And it's an excellent Super Soul Break. Yes, it is. On the, but on the other banner. Bushido deals five physical attacks to all allies, temporarily raises the user's attack a moderate amount, resistance a small amount, and critical hit chance a large amount. Uh... And the burst abilities are Guardians Resolve. Deal, excuse me, deal physical damage to one target, healing the user for a portion of the damage dealt, and a Decisive Instant. Deal two physical attacks to all targets and temporarily allow the user to counter physical attacks. So it see it seems like the perfect setup for a tanking burst super soul break such. Or burst super soul, burst soul break like Gilgamesh's, but unfortunately it does not have. The uh, the provoke effect active, so you either have to get that from somewhere else, or just hope that enemies are constantly attacking Orin. Maybe it's good for a solo run. <laughs> it would certainly help out on that one event where you had uh, to clear it with only three people. But uh, yeah. It's pretty good. I like how it works in tons of buffs and then all sorts of little attacks. It feels like <laughs> it feels like an MMO toolkit kind of 
how you're buffing up first and then you're healing and got a counter. I like it. I like it a lot. Fortunately, I only have Orin's Grasp in my inventory. And I'm saving up. And then the only other new... Uh, the only other new relic on this banner is Payne's Warrior's Gloves, which give her Liquid Steel. Get it? It's liquid, because it's deal six physical water attacks to one target and temporarily infuse the user with the power of water. I feel, again, like this is another uh, cookie-cutter pair of banners where you... The general theme is water, but then it presents itself with lots of other stuff. That was a really big statement. But this is a really good series of two banners. If you get... Apocalypse, which is the main goal. Uh, feel free to dabble into Banner 2. <laughs> but otherwise, I'd say stick to pulling on the first banner. Because it has Apocalypse, which I got. So now I'm... As of now, I have every first... So, every uh, Overstrike Soul Break on the global version. Let's keep it that way. <laughs> You're just a Titus lover. <laughs> I'm just glad I didn't have another existential breakdown where I considered draw, uh, calling the gambling addiction hotline. <laughs> I, didn't have, I didn't have to spend any money to get over his strike. I feel like they knew, DNA knew. They're like, we gotta give this guy. Yeah, this, this guy's got some problems. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that would bring us uh, to the end of this event and our new Realm Dungeon update. Realm Dungeon update 26. 26. Who's counting? Uh, I am. 26. <clears throat> anyway, we got uh, new dungeons for Final Fantasy VII. Two new dungeons. That would be Normal and Elite. Final Fantasy V, four dungeons. Final Fantasy VIII, six dungeons, including Tanaberry. And Final Fantasy XI. Hooray! For four dungeons. I believe that's a total of 16 dungeons. 16 Mithril monk's memory crystal one with his two new record materia and white mage memory crystal two with her new record materia two uh the max stamina at the end of completing all of these dungeons would be 172 and four out of five shards if you have not bought any shards in the guy saw green shop have you finished all of this content nope not a, not even nope. close, baby. I have uh, not had a lot of time to play, but no, I have not either. I mean, so hey. hopefully by next time we will have all of these done. But we also yeah, get right. a, a lucky banner. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to definitely pull on it. Uh, nice. I'm feeling lucky. That's feeling good. lucky. So our half price lucky banner, 25 Mithril. For an 11 pull, for five star drops, unique soul breaks from five, seven, and eight. I'm going to pull. Do it. I'm lucky. How many do I get? One, on. one, 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 hey, one. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> not cool, yeah, Ben. Two. Not cool. It's okay. Two? You got two. All right. That's above average. What? Two. I got some gloves. Who's and gloves? The katana. Okay, who's Katana? <laughs> I have no. Oh, Gilgamesh's burst soul break. Oh, nice. It's okay. I have that. I'm not like jealous. Son, seriously. Isn't it great when I have everything I want? Then you don't have to hear me complain. You're kind of being a jerk about you it. You sound and like I a spoiled Gavox, child. Which is, what? Which is <laughs> Gallop's uh, super soul break. So. I was looking for some Final Fantasy V synergy, and oh, I just Pierre. got some Final Fantasy V synergy, so I'm very happy. But Pierre, uh, so how can I be spoiled if the universe gives it to me? Oh. I'm so not going to get into that one. For my Final Fantasy V synergy, I will be working on that. Now my Final Fantasy V team is balling. All right. All right. What's I that have... leave us? Transition. Uh, Transition. Yeah. 
I have a question while we're in between uh, categories. <laughs> when you go into the game, uh, like you go up top to menu, config, there's display setting. There's two options, standard display. And I think we've gone over this. But I, I forgot, like I've got the memory of a goldfish. Is there any difference? We've definitely had this exact same, like you pointed it out during the podcast, like a brand new discovery. Oh, I'm not discovering anything. I, I, I'm, okay, all right, fine. So what was our what? decision? What was the outcome of that discussion? I mean, I don't think it was very important, so I didn't remember I it. See any difference? There's a lot Maybe. of little differences. Stop going Maybe. just in and out of the same menu to figure out what it is. <laughs> you have to stop the game and restart it. No, no, I uh, I see that there's a little like little little things changing, but I I don't get what. How is it more simplified? Oh, want to know something weird? What's up? So go to um crap. Where did I see it? There was some, like, Japanese text in the game, in the global version, that was, like, left in. I'm trying to remember where I saw it. It was, like, somewhere in camp. Uh, dungeon info? No. It was definitely blue. Was it? Oh, that's right. So, go into, uh, camp, if you're in a dungeon, and then, uh, select a piece of equipment. Okay, let me and you'll find a... Uh... Just go into any dungeon. No, I'm, and then, I've got like four stamina, so. Okay, go into Mako Reactor number five. Yeah, that's, oh, that's exactly what I'm doing. Dude, I know. See, great mind thinks, oh, come on, I'm out of abilities, what the hell. This is weird. I might report this and be drowning in the Mithril Boys. This is mine. Here, you gotta promise, I found this first. I reported this like a week ago. What, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> no, I don't, I'm kidding. Okay. <laughs> Oh, uh, you're- you! You have too many abilities! See? Shooter abilities are your downfall. Huh. Yep. So we got a question from Slack Chat. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Just real quick. This takes five seconds. Oh yeah, okay, I'm in there. I camp. see the padlock is in Japanese. There you go. See? It's weird. Alright, go to the question. We have a question from The Nation. Yeah. If you could give one character a five-star ability, who and what would it be and why? Thought about For it. example, I would love to give Kane white magic to reflect his holy dragoon transformation in Final Fantasy IV of the After Years. <clears throat> so anybody uh, think... want to chime in on the Twitch, let us know. I think I have some... Um, People on Slack chat that answered earlier. I think my my answer is uh, give Bart Dragoon abilities. Just because in the late game, game I always made Bart's a Dragoon since I had nothing else to master at that point. <laughs> I did it just for the raw stats. Schwartzkopf says if Ico gets to be Summoner 5 White, Five Garnet should be at two. Good call. Yeah, I guess. Purple says X Death for Summoner Five. I he can summon allies from the rift. Oh, that's funny. <coughs> yeah, I'm with uh, Alksprit on that one. Irvine should get Machinist. Irvine should get Machinist. That's a good Irvine's one. Marley bad. Frost. Marley Frost says any Final Fantasy Seven character with at least Night Four. Uh, Angel will have Night 5. Uh, Yuna should have Dancer. She's one of... Oh, and Freya, Schwarzkopf. Uh, Yinka says Yuna should have Dancer. Schwarzkopf says so should Freya. They are the only two characters that are ever showing, performing mystical dances, yet they don't get dancing. <laughs> uh, Hope with point. the 5. Um, Why? So he can use the pumpkin because <laughs> he's the only Final Fantasy 13 character that can use their own weapons. Oh. Uh, um, Furion gets Celerity 5 for full chain power break. Uh, that's uh, that's from Derek. It's time to make Final Fantasy 2 great again. Yeah, thanks, Derek. Uh, 
Uh, nice. uh, anybody he's else? Australian. He's from oh, Australia. a Trump humor joke from an Australian. Ha ha ha. Okay, I just got it. Vincent Sharp. Vincent has sharpshooter. Yeah. <laughs> you're you're out of here. I what do you mean? As sharpshooter. I don't know. I'm looking uh, here. Vincent has sharpshooter five. Ooh. Oops. Get sorry, on. Mr. East. Um. I you know I'd like I don't know if it's in game more than its utility for the game. I would really rather that Oren instead of well I I mean I want him to have samurai and stuff but I'd really like him to have um, support. I mean in Final Fantasy X he's the guy that does armor break and power break. Yeah, that's a good point. And all that stuff. But in the in the game, um, I mean I use him. I really use him as a breaker. I mean he's one of my main breakers. He has a great DPS break for power or for attack and, and defense. So, yeah, I, I would rather, instead of having, you know, draw fire and uh, life siphon, I, I almost would rather have him full break and, you know, power breakdown or full break and magic breakdown, kind of like how I use, because that's what I do for Van a lot of times. I'll give he, and Van has four star support, I believe. So, yeah, yeah. that makes sense. But I understand, you know, you have a dancer uh, in Riku, and you have a a breaker in Waka. So Waka couldn't do anything. No one would use Waka. <clears throat> yeah, but sometimes uh, it's nice. Edgar should have sharpshooter. Yeah, that's good. Well, with um, multiplayer right around the corner, I think character balance will be even more important. So yeah, maybe people are going to get more heroes are going to start getting more abilities. I can think of some losers right now that you are never going to see in multiplayer that DNA might just uh, might push, might, might observe the from the beta, nobody's using this character and everyone's using this character, might actually make some balance changes instead of just buffs. When's the last time we got a, like, a character debuffed? I'm trying to think. Debuff? The, the only debuff I remember were ninjas. That's a good, yeah. <laughs> that's the only debuff I've ever seen. Yeah, it's the last nerf. Well, pe people tend to complain when you start um, nerfing characters. <laughs> well, I can and, see. And, nerfing um, abilities. and since can... since there's no, like, versus mode, yeah. there's really not a reason to nerf characters. That's a good uh, point. To depower them, if, so. If we ever see in multiplayer that the, the same... Uh, the same six characters are are always used, and like there's no uh, deviance. Yeah, Axelfrit makes a good point. Ninjas did not get debuffed; their powers got yeah their abilities. Nerfed. Well, their that's, abilities. that's what I meant. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, in terms of like specific characters, there's been no nerfing or depowering of characters. Just abilities which affected entire classes or entire jobs mm. got beaten down so all right well what's the news from japan is there is there hope on the horizon pierre ah uh, my 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 let's see oh yeah there's did the Derek... new chain like the new chain soul breaks which looks sick yep but uh that, that's like barely data mine stuff and I don't speak good Japanese, so I didn't get involved with the publishing of that, but it's all on the Twitters if you're interested. Uh, but Derek writes us and said, uh, hope you've had another awesome week and are ready to make America great again. <laughs> I said that one I could bad. I could put Australia on blast right now. You should be glad I'm merciful. Another relatively quiet week on the other side of the pond. Thanks goodness. Let's get to it. Uh, Japanese Week in Review, so launch of Final Fantasy 3 event Destroyer of Light and Dark, Introducing, introduction of Cloud of Darkness, a new playable character, he's got Black 5, Darkness 5 and White 4. Uh, new Darkness 5 ability, Dread Heal release, two single target Dark Elemental Magic, Absorb HP, it's like Chain Drain Guff for Darkness users. 
new Overflow Soulbreak release for Lunet, new Burst Soulbreak release for Ark, uh, Cloud of Darkness, and Dash, or Deck, or whatever. Um, XP dungeons available in this event, which are quite easy to clear, offering Final Fantasy III Synergy and a rate chance at Onion Knight Fragments. Uh, check it out if you need your level 3 characters or missed out on the fragments previously. Dungeon update 32 release, taking us back to Final Fantasy V, X, and Tactics. Story Dungeon Half Price Stamina campaign launched again, this time until November 14. Take the opportunity to clear the update or catch up if you're behind while it lasts. Another Japanese edition Dungeon Update Lucky Banner released. Full price draw, Super Soul Break, and above relics from this update's realm with a bonus free single draw. Japanese gets all the good crap. Uh, Memory Crystal 2 added for Core Viking and Samurai. Their new recurring materials are nothing to write home about. And just between you and me, who cares about core characters except those freaking like diehard players? Um, that's a wrap for this week. Do tune in next week to hear all about the upcoming Final Fantasy XI event, which has my has been mine this week, and the exciting new Soul Break tier combo Soul Breaks. As always, keep combo. out the good work and keep saving those mitral. Best wishes from Australia, Derek. So, that's the news from the Japan. Thanks, Derek. Ah, ah don't kill Ark. Don't kill Ark. I just started using him. What? I'm running through some Final Fantasy 3 dungeons. <gasps> um, I know. I'm actually... Woohoo! Running through the core dungeons. Hey, so I finally got a chance to watch as we're ending our time together tonight. I finally got a chance to watch Final Fantasy XV Kingsglaive, the movie, with the, the actors and such. <clears throat> yeah, this it's you know, it's good ish. I probably need to watch it a couple more times to understand anything that happened in it, but you know, I <laughs> Nice. That's a sign of a good I'll, I'll movie. Say, I'll say this. Um, I, may, I, I don't know. I, I, I was just trying to think. <laughs> I'll say or, this. I don't know. <laughs> well, I, I don't know exactly if I have a problem with it or if I'm my mind is just trying to adjust to it. The setting. What does that mean? The setting for Final Fantasy XV seems like they took all of the settings forever in anything. Like they 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 like what? it's like they took a computer program and inserted all architecture like fictional or real, <laughs> all, like all all, all, all civilizations, like, all culture, and yeah. then they and then they like spit it out. <laughs> they put it in a blender and just uh, hit and that's puree. Kind of, so so it kind of starts like like it kind of starts like Final Fantasy VI. Right, so there's a nation of Magitech guys, and there's a nation of like mage, high culture guys. Okay, I'm following and so, you so so far. there's this beautiful city, and they're all about magic and the crystal, right? And then there's this evil empire, and they're all very robotic, but they all dress like crazy, you know, Renaissance folks. Uh, anyway, okay, everybody. But they're going into the city, yeah, so it, so it's really crazy stuff. So they're, like, walking around the main city, which is Insomnia, which is whatever. Anyway, that's the Game name. studio? No, yeah. that's Insomniac. No, so walking around, and so there's, like, guys in, like, robes, right? And yeah. there's guys in age hats. And then there's guys in, like, futuristic, like, Final Fantasy seven eight kind of armor. And then there's, like, people in, like, suits. <laughs> and then there's like, there's oh, like yeah, people there's like some, oh. there's some sharp dressed people in yeah. Final Fantasy and 15. They drive bodies. So I don't I mean like literally like there's like the main car is like an Audi. It's not it's not even oh, like yeah. a it's not like a future <laughs> Audi. It's like an Audi that you it's can an buy. Audi. <laughs> you don't buy that Audi like right now. Walking uh, into the dealership. Hi, I'd like the um, the Final Fantasy car. I mean it's not like <laughs> all right, all right this way. But, I mean, that's not necessarily unique to this setting. I mean, all Final Fantasy is a little <clears throat> a little jumbled. Um, oh, yeah, you know, with like the, 8, I think, is the perfect the example. Sons and, well, 8 is, eight is surrealism and... Yeah, you know how I kept 
Bro, you know so... how I constantly shit talk eight? I it's like the best. Gave, I gave it another view, and it's like awesome. it's a decent game. Like the junctioning system is dumb, and the scaling levels are like idiotic. But the atmosphere is really good, and the story it tells, like. Until it gets to, like, the third disc is good. <laughs> yeah, so there's a lot... There's also a lot of Assassin's Creeding stuff in this movie. Yeah. So, yeah, so, yeah, the magical... Although they got, like, teleport powers. I don't know nice. if... I, don't, I haven't played enough Assassin's Creed. Well, that's Creed, the one that so Noctis has, have, where you, like, throw they have sword. Teleport powers. The guy, the guy in Dishonored, though... Dishonored, you have, like, a teleport ability, right? So yeah, maybe but that's, like... Yeah, Dishonored is good. Yeah, Dishonored is good. I, I'm looking forward to Dishonored too. Anyway, um, so um, if you're, uh, you know, if you like Final Fan, uh, let, let me put it this way: you remember Final Fantasy twelve? Uh, yes. The very beginning of Final Fantasy twelve, you like played Bosch, you know, in, in kind of like the yeah, you played like the assault on the castle with Van's right. brother okay. who goes into a vegetative state. Yeah, right, right, exactly. So this. This movie is kind of like a movie version of that for Final Fantasy XV. So this is like the stuff that's happening right before Final Fantasy XV starts. Okay, and like instead of telling the, that in a the meaning, are going to the wedding, you know, like the Hangover. Well, that's happening. There's some like there's some serious stuff. Like they're going to like a wedding to party, <clears throat> and but there's some stuff happening, and so that's oh kind yeah, of what there's this big movie. repercussions of the wedding. Like oh, Jimbo is giant and fighting some oh, yeah, demon. Oh, Jimbo, so, nice. I'm almost positive one of the uh, one of the summon creatures he summons at the end of the movie is Yo Jimbo. So <clears throat> I might be I might be wrong, but anyway. Um, so yeah, watch it. I'm not sure that you would go um, buy it if you don't need to, but. You know, you can rent it, have a good All time. Right. A and times. while uh, Pesmerga desperately tries to defend enemies scaling with your levels, which is the stupidest thing ever, uh, I'm going to talk again about... Okay, then he brings up Triple Triad, which, yes, it's good, uh, but they uh, shouldn't have... Uh, no, it, was, it, was, it was good. It was It's good. It's one of the top Final Fantasy mini-games. Again, tones. Okay. Putting that all aside, I need to talk some more about World of Final Fantasy because, holy moly, that game is good. I don't have a PS4. I haven't played it, but I've watched tons of other streamers play it, and it is so funny, and it never gets stale. And it's just like any... If you own a PS4 and even like remotely enjoy the JRPG genre or enjoy Final Fantasy, you should get this game. Huh. Yeah. Uh, oh. <clears throat> let me think, what else? What else do I have to add in my closing remarks? Uh, Mobius! Yeah, well, I'm what? waiting for Mark's <laughs> Mobius moment. Oh, Treasure, Treasure Island this week in Mobius, so... Jump on board, ye mateys, and get your hidden treasure. What chapter are you on? No, this is not a chapter. This is an uh, ex exploration region. Yeah, but what chapters have been released so far? Well, we're at chapter 3, part 1. Oh, God, you're only on chapter... Th <laughs> but, but there's a lot of other events that are, that are keeping us occupied. Mark, and now why do you keep playing second, this game? Second panel... So now you can grind for eight skill panels instead of four. Woohoo! Good times. Mark, why are you doing this? And if you want to join us, you can uh, join our Slack channel, <laughs> FF Mobius. Mobius FF, I mean. Yeah, I came in there to tell you that your game's terrible. It's not terrible. It's. It, it's there's not, not a lot good to say about it. Great, but it's not terrible. It's playable. It's playable. Uh, oh, it's playable. <laughs> All right. So we jumped the shark yet for this episode? Yeah, I think we're done. <laughs> I've been done for a long time.
<laughs> All right. Well, then that's uh, I think that's going to be a wrap for us. That's uh, that was episode number 38 of the Crystal Chronicles uh, recorded on November 9th. My name is Pierre. I can be reached out on Slack chat at Pierre or on Twitter at FFRK Central. You can reach out to Ben at at e 88 on Twitter. And pretty soon you're going to be able to visit my Animal Crossing town. But uh, that's neither here nor there. All right. And you can reach out to Mark at... Maybe I don't want to be reached. Well, maybe. I'm just, I'm just not wow. feeling it. <laughs> you can Dang. reach me at Rev Mark Myers on the tweet, sirs. Or you can do... At Rev or hashtag Rev. What do we do on Slack? At, yes, at Rev HP on Slack chat. And, uh, yeah. Feel free. Message me. All right. We'll uh, definitely do that then. So thank you, everyone, for being there. Thank you, people on Twitch, uh, for hanging around again. This is uh, so great with you guys there thank you for everyone who take the time on uh during the week or weekend to listen to us on their mobile device it's uh, always awesome to see them numbers goes up and uh we'll be there next week uh, to entertain you and who knows maybe uh tell you a little more about how excited we are about the upcoming um, multiplayer beta and global so that's it for us. We'll see you next week. Thank you. Well, we actually won't see you, but you'll hear us. And, and yeah, you know where I'm going with that. So yeah. thank you. Have a good week.